Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this Acid Leopard nail art tutorial. I was really inspired by Claire's Acid Leopard eye makeup look. I had these colors out with a couple other ideas, but once I saw her video, I really wanted to try and recreate her eye look on my nails. If you'd like to see the video that inspired me, I'll include an annotation and it will also be linked in the information box. I started out by sponging on the rainbow and then I actually freehanded the leopard design. So if you'd like to see how to do it yourself, stay tuned. Alright, so to get started I have my nails prepped with a base coat as well as a base color of Orly Au Champagne. And having a white base is just going to create a solid background for me to sponge my colors on. For this, I'm using three colors from the Icing Cancun Spring Break Collection. The pink is called Hot Date. The yellow is called Suntan Lotion. And the blue is called Blue Caribbean. So for my sponging, I've just got a little section of paper plate here and a little wedge of sponge and I'm going to be applying my color on the paper plate first because I want to create kind of a lot of gradient with my sponging if I'm going for kind of a heavier application of color I'll usually apply it directly on the sponge so I'm just going to kind of get it out on the paper plate there and I'm going to be starting off at the base of my nail near the cuticle and usually when I'm sponging, I'll do all my nails in one color before I move on to the next color. And that just helps because then I can continue to use that same corner of the sponge without the polish getting dry in between. And it also gives the polish enough time on my nail to dry before I start on the next color. So I'm just going to continue along here and do the rest of my nails and I'm also going to do just a little bit of pink at the tip because for this I'm kind of creating my own rainbow I'm not using six colors I'm just using three and blending them together so I'm also going to apply like I said just a bit of pink at the tip of each nail Alright guys, I've now done both my left and my right hand with the pink and the next step is to put out some of the yellow and the yellow is going to be most intense in kind of the middle of my finger and blending with the pink to create an orange and we'll be eventually blending with the blue to create a green. So I'm just going to apply it mostly in the middle of the nail, blending a little bit like I said down into that pink so that it creates kind of an orange and fading out still leaving a little bit of white open for the blue. So where the blue blends with the yellow I'm going to get green and then at the very tip where the blue blends with the pink I'm going to get a purple. So now I have both my left and right hands done with the pink and the yellow. And so the final color I have left is blue. And on the sponge, I've just been using a different corner for each color. So I'm just going to put out some blue. 
and continue on like I have been. And patience is just an important part of when you're sponging. Um, the more patient you are, you know, the better your final outcome is going to be. So I'm going to take the blue and I'm just going to cover from the yellow to the tip. And where it blends a little with the yellow, you're going to see green. Where it's just over the white, you'll see blue. And at the very tip, where it covers the pink, you're going to see a purple. So you've kind of created your own rainbow effect just by using three colors, which is a little bit easier, in my opinion, than trying to um, sponge with all six colors would have been. So I'm just going to continue along and finish up the rest of my nails with the blue. So now I've completed my sponging on both hands and sponging can be a little messy. You see I've got some around my nails here so I'm just going to dip this q-tip in some polish remover and do a little bit of cleanup around the edges just to get everything a little neater and of course I'll do that for all of my nails. Alright, all cleaned up. I did use my usual brush to get in some of the closer areas right next to the cuticle that the uh, q-tip couldn't quite get to. And usually for an animal print, I would go ahead and use Conad. Um, you can see here on M57 there's a leopard print pattern. But for this one, I actually decided to uh, use my little nail art pen. This is from Sally Hansen and I'm going to make my attempt to um, draw them on. So basically for a leopard print design you're going to want to make little C designs in different directions and little dots and circles. So I'm just going to go across each nail and make some leopard prints. Um, you know, I'm kind of more of a perfectionist, so kind of intentionally trying to make them uneven and different slightly shapes and angles and sizes um, does not come easily to me, but just kind of do your best and, you know, if it's not absolutely perfect, really you're the only one that's going to know and you know other people are not going to be so critical for one thing they're not going to be looking as close up and for another they're not going to have that same image in their head that you might of what the perfect design might really look like so just continue until all your nails have um, a leopard pattern on them
Once you finish drawing on your leopard print design, you're just going to want to give it a few minutes to mostly dry so that when you apply your top coat, the design doesn't smear. Um, I do always recommend a top coat just to give you that really high gloss shine and also to protect your design. If you'd like to see some more pictures of this manicure, you can check out my blog, mysimplelittlepleasures.blogspot.com. I will probably be using this or a very similar sponged rainbow base for a water marble in the near future, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching.